what to expect from it because they made a lot of changes to this 14 car. Trouble in turn one, Kurt Busch around, and look at that, Denny Hamlin, whole Junior. track, half the track anyway, is blocked, and the field stopped behind him. Yeah, Jeff Gordon got a small piece of that. I don't think he's got much damage, though. That's Mike Skinner, 37 car. There's Junior, Denny Hamlin, Jeff Burton. It's a big mess down there. She said, get down into one, you can see. Dale Jr. just didn't have enough room, ran up over that pink curbing that's down on the inside now. That threw him up into the 22 of Kirk Bush. It looked like Jr. was doing all he could to stay off of Kirk Bush. Drive down. Yeah, he's just not quite up far enough. Hold the brakes. Just stay up there. Don't come down. Don't come down. Don't come down. Do not come down. Denny Hamlin ends up sideways. Almendinger, Burton. It's a unique feature of this racetrack in Martinsville, that curb on the inside of the corners. Yeah, and it creates havoc just like that throughout the day. It's something that actually a driver going in there that maybe just got past can kind of use it to their advantage to uh, keep a car from, from getting up beside him. It, there's more damage on Jeff Gordon's car than I first thought. Jamie, whoever you're racing. So it's a day, again, of patience. Just letting your car do the work. That's the key thing. Kenseth. Now able to get back in line. Trouble. Turn three. Dave Blaney, 36, was first around. And then this other with Regan Smith and Brian Vickers, 78 and 83, was in the jam up of everybody stomping that brake pedal. Brian Vickers has been kind of the victim twice of that very thing. Not involved in the, the first incident, but as he slowed down. There was a lot of heavy racing going on behind this incident. So everybody was trying to dive inside of each other going in turn three. And then this wreck happened. And one of them ended up facing the wrong way on the racetrack. You can just see how things got jammed up. Blaney got out, and, and the uh, one of Jamie McMurray just ran all over him there. So, I'm going to throw a little wrinkle on, on that one at you, Dale. If we see that again, watch Joey Logano in the 20 and see if he didn't push McMurray into Blaney. Yeah, and then you can see Brian Vickers, he had already committed heavily to get into turn three and uh, ended up getting into Regan Smith and getting airborne. Yeah, Smith had had damage in that first uh, incident also, so once you get back there, it makes it tough. Caution flags out again. That's not the first impact for Jamie <laughs> McMurray's car under this very brief yellow flag period so far, but you can see Jamie walking away from the car. After a very hard hit that set off well, let's just go show you. Easier to show you than to explain the whole thing. Uh, McMurray and Brian Vickers here. 1 and 83 going down into turn 3. Hmm. Well, I'm going to give Brian Vickers the benefit that he got a little loose right there. Hard shot for McMurray there. I don't. You might give him the benefit, but I'm not sure McMurray's going well, to. His wheels are right, and he had his brakes locked up. So all of that combined. It's a big hit for Jamie. Listen that to this. Was. So, as McMurray starts to drive away from the accident scene, he leaves some things behind. Oh, oh, is this, it's like, those are the batteries from his car, yep. now laying anything. on the racetrack. And then, when Vickers comes by, McMurray, well, I know baseball season just ended, but we'll call that a swing and a miss. For sure. <laughs> Well, you didn't really miss. All right, how about a foul ball then? Yeah. Like, would you call it Dale the change up? <laughs> yeah, he was expecting a change up and got the fastball there, so. Uh. I don't. Uh, I don't have any power, just so you know. Your battery's on the ground up here. <laughs> yeah, that might be why. Yep. Right there. Oh boy. Uh. So, uh, a boil over. Still early at Martinsville. Plenty of time to go. And uh, the fifth caution flag already, and we're still shy of 100 laps. Some cars pitted on pit road. The top 21 as they run on the racetrack now stayed out. Some of those who pitted, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., David Reagan, Kurt Busch, Jimmy Johnson, Casey Kane, Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, Matt Kenseth, uh, Vickers, and, uh, and I wrote Kane's number down twice, so I won't say his name again. <laughs> And A.J. Allmendinger, 43, going to work on 
adding one to the 42's position running on the racetrack. Yeah, you see Casey Mears in that 13 car up there today. Up, doing a great job. Up trouble on the front straightaway. Oh, look out, Bobby Labonte. Oh, and Casey King. And Kurt Busch barely squeezed through there. No call. Still green. Uh, I think we're going to have to throw it. Bobby Labonte stopped here. There he goes. We stay under green. Bobby was 15th. Now he's a lap down. Seven different drivers have led. We talked about Bobby Labonte getting turned around off of turn four a minute ago, but no caution. Here's what happened. See, Dave Blaney just happened to get into the left rear. Bobby Labonte spun him. Woo! Did Kurt Busch barely get through there? A couple of others. Huh? Just barely snuck by there. Outside. You see it, see it, see it, see it. Very nice. Clear. Outside, outside. Jimmy Johnson. And a race for third. Back to live action. Almondinger's gotten through to second. Here's Montoya. And Ambrose oh. in around. All right, we got front end damage. We got down by the 42. Let's get going. If you can, Marcus, just say hi. Caution number six. Did Montoya wheel hops this a little bit getting in? Yeah. Just drove it in. Just couldn't get the car turned down. Drove it in too hard in trying to make the pass. From Kevin Harvick. Well, he didn't take much. Stay low, stay low, stay in it. Watch it out, watch it out. Well, just after he got spun around on the front stretch and no caution came out for him, Bobby Labonte was the first car lap down, and so he gets the Aaron's Lucky Dog free pass. First car lap down will come back around onto the lead lap in 32nd position. And how about the two car, fourth in the point standing, Brad Keselowski having issues with the front and back of the car, and guys, the yellow waving on the racetrack. Oh, uh, what a shock, Doc. Uh, Joey Logano turned around in turn four off the front bumper of Side another. damage, pretty bad. It would be the 88 car whose front bumper assisted Logano in his spin. Racing for 18th spot. And a caution out here after the longest green flag run we've had all race so far. And a race plenty. Big advantage Kyle Busch had. And here is... Yep. Another example just getting down into the corner a little bit hard. You can see the 88 of Dale Jr. just get in there. Wheel hop just a little bit. Had to correct back to the right. Coming there, keep coming. Coffee. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. And the pit road is open. I still feel the summer rains that graced our back since we went down the lane. When your car is more than just a car to you, the right insurance matters. Are you getting the coverage options you need and the discounts you deserve? For an agent or quote, call 800 My Coverage or visit travelers.com. I love this car. With the Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards credit card, we earn more cash back for the things we buy most. That's 1% cash back everywhere, every time. 2% on groceries. 3% on gas. Automatic. No hoops to jump through. That's 1% cash back on Oscar. Tony. Oscar. 2% back on whatever she'll eat. 3% back on filling up this baby. Now get 1, 2, 3% cash back. It's that simple. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. We're talking 3% back on gas. Is that raw chicken? Yeah. What's that dripping from that air conditioner? Cool it? What's that smell? Is that the time? Please, please. Yes, it is. Everything seems tip-top to me. I will see you next year. Hey fans, customize my gear, my gear, my gear, my gear, only at the NASCAR.com Superstore. As you saw, caution out, David Gilliland with troubles. In turn one, the leaders all on pit road with 137 laps to go. Mike? 
we're a couple of laps short. If you get what you got on fuel mileage this last run, we're right on the number, and we should make it. Now, my question is, as you saw a moment ago, if he runs the way he runs, he can leave here as the points leader. Well, Doc, not going to have to yeah, probably yeah, worry yeah, about that because the caution is out, and Leaders the picture the changes. Constant adjustment by the crew chief. Jeff Burton turned around, running 14th at the time. He, two laps before, had had a big wiggle up off turn number two as far as the time to fill it all. Ooh, how about that? A little chain reaction. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's see. Was that Ryan Newman was the cue ball? And Kurt Busch was the other ball that you hit yeah. the combination into in the he corner pocket. Two balls, but he hit him. Jeff Burton ended up in the pocket. That's part on stop, presented by AT&T. Trying to hold Denny Hamlin back yep. to get a good finish out of this. Here he is running second. This incredible job that Tony's done today. They've got one around over in three and four. He may get going again. That's Hermie Sadler, 71 car. No yellow just yet. He's right in the now middle of the race caution, right now. Caution is out. You saw that black smoke shoot out of the exhaust pipes. Started it, stalled it, got it restarted again and spun it around. But by then the leaders were coming off too at speed. And NASCAR had no choice. Yeah. Come in and top off the fuel and get fresh tires. Regan Smith, Mark wow. Martin, Joey Logano. Wow. Clunk, hmm. clunk, clunk. That was a little payback. <laughs> and Hermie had to pay the price. Time to go NASCAR nonstop, presented by AT&T. Pretty amazing the adjustment they've made is to some contact. Oh, trouble. Greg Biffle has spun around. And the caution's out. You got leopard with polar damage here. Uh, that's a pretty Just good damage. Caution number... Sorry, guys. 13. But I think we might be all right. It looked like Harvick had gotten into Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon was getting ready to go three wide, but then this happened behind him. Yeah, it looked like Biffle just got in a little bit hot, couldn't turn down, got into the side of Ryan Newman and basically took himself out then and trying to stay off anymore. But he wheel hops a little here. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see it. Big rear. Time. See that left rear tire jumping off the ground. Now you can know your home inside and out. Introducing Milo's, a revolutionary new way to keep track of, organize, and manage your entire home. Go to Lowe's.com to register and learn more. Lowe's, never stop improving. Televised in 175 countries, broadcast in 24 languages, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Championship ends in Miami. And you can be there. Get fired up. The world is watching. Sunday, November 20th at Homestead Miami Speedway. The NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Championship Ford 400. Tickets start at $55 and they're going fast. Call 866-409-RACE or homesteadmiamispeedway.com. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast. Can him out now. Jimmy Johnson does not pit. Almost all the other front runners do. Jamie and Matt Kenseth involved in what brought us to the caution flag. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, they're hard to drive like oh, that. Holy cow. You see how high the back of that car came up. Hmm. And then he had the brakes on so hard, the wheels were hopping. And yeah, they had battled for probably six or eight laps. It looked like a fairly clean pass that Vickers had made on him. Yellow's out. That yellow, was yellow. a race for eighth place. And if you're Matt Kenseth, you're involved in this championship. You've got a lot to lose if this 83 car tends to come back out onto the racetrack and exact uh, a little bit of revenge. So a lot going on, a lot of drama, a lot of intrigue as we get to the final laps in Martinsville. 
Now he sees an opportunity to win. 31 Burton, double zero Rudiman, did not oh, hit. Oh, trouble. Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth the round. There and so is, so is the 18. Montoya's involved. Bigger story, 17 car, Matt Kenseth. Second in the championship, up against the wall. With Big a lot damage. Of damage. Like they can get it fixed and get him back out there, though. Not losing too much. Oh, nope. Take that back. Looks like he's broken the track bar. Oh, boy. He'll be making a trip to the garage. Watch Kenseth and watch Kyle Busch. See, Matt's already locking it up, getting in into the corner. He'd gotten in too hard. See the smoke. He said on that, that little bit of radio, we just heard him say, I thought I heard him say the right front was down when he went into the corner. Or went down when he hit the brakes. We see a lot of side side. Shake right before that. 